Hello, and welcome to the Batch Command System for Cubase Innuendo Basic Training. We'll be taking you through how to locate, use, and program some of our most popular batch commands included by default in your Raven and Batch Commander software. We'll be demonstrating the batch commands on the Raven software, however the same batch commands can be found in the same locations across both applications. If you're a Batch Commander user, just note that you will see some non-batch command tools that are exclusive to the Raven software during this video. Let's begin. Batch Commander users, be sure to import the custom key commands created to optimize your batch commands for Cubase Innuendo. To import, click on the File drop-down menu on your DAW and select Key Commands. Now, in the Presets drop-down menu, select Raven Keys, which will also be labeled with your DAW choice and version number. Once selected, click OK. Important! Cubase and Nuendo use different key commands natively between their project and mix windows. To design an effective batch command system for use with both Cubase and Nuendo, we've designed toolbar layouts 1 through 3 to function with the project window. The toolbar layouts 4 through 6 have been designed to function with the mix window. It's important to understand this because, as mentioned earlier, the key commands between the two windows are different for various commands and will not work correctly on the wrong windows. From your desktop, navigate to the Apple drop-down menu and click System Preferences, then click Show All. If using OS X 10.9 or higher, click Security and Privacy. On the Privacy tab, select the Accessibility option on the sidebar and drag the following applications to the provided area from your Applications folder. Automator, Cubase and or Nuendo, the Raven or Batch Commander application, and Terminal. Note, Terminal is located in the Utilities folder within the Applications folder. If using OS X 10.7 or 10.8, click Show All and select Accessibility from the Main System Preferences window. Then confirm that the Enable Assistive Devices option is checked. We've included batch commands on one of the floating toolbars on Layout 5 to create various types of tracks. First, on the Mix window, let's create four new audio tracks by hitting the Create Mono Audio Track Batch command four times. Now let's name these newly created consecutive tracks Lead Vocals 1 through 4 by using the preset naming batch command, also on Layout 5. Let's select the first track of the four we want to name consecutively and hit Lead Vocals 1 through 4, and it's done. Last, let's move to the Project window where we can automatically color code any selected tracks by using the color coding panel of batch commands, located on the floating toolbar of Layout 1. Color coding functions in the Project window only. Let's choose the Color Tracks Blue Batch command, and just like that, our selected tracks are now blue. On Layout 3 for the Project window and Layout 4 for the Mix window, we find our favorite plugin batch commands. On Layout 3 for the Project window, let's hit the VST Amp Rack Insert 2 batch command, and it will automatically open the Channel Settings window. Search for any plugin we want, in this case the VST Amp Rack, and then select the plugin from the search, applying the plugin to the selected track. On the floating toolbar of Layout 1, we can make it easy to add a custom plugin chain to a specific track. We've included a preset slate chain batch command on the basic layout. However, for more preset chain batch commands, you'll need to use the advanced preset layout located within your settings. Now let's use the slate chain batch command. The preset plugin chain batch commands will add specific plugins and move down to the next insert, searching and selecting the plugins I want. You can easily customize your own chain batch commands to use any plugins you want. Using the batch command system, adding custom sends and send chains is now a simple task. Using one button, I can easily add preset effects sends and their plugins. On the floating toolbar on Layout 1, we can hit Stereo Roomworks Effects Select. This batch command will open the new effects window. Then it will click the configuration and select the stereo option for you, and then click the effect insert menu and search for the plugin. If I want to add another effect send, I can just select the track again and hit Mono Delay to select. Once I've created an effect send, I can send another track to that same send. Still on Layout 1, we'll hit Stereo Reverb Send 1. This will open the Channel Settings window, tab to the Sends menu, search the send for Roomworks, and then add and activate the send. On Layout 1, we've included some great batch commands to make creating submixes even easier. I'll hit the Bus Select Stereo Group batch command, 
and it will instantly bus my selected tracks to a stereo bus and even name it Subnix 1 for me. The batch command system brings easy editing and quantization to your fingertips. For example, on Layout 2, we can hit the Snap to Grid, Fade, Consolidate batch command to instantly snap a drum part to the grid, crossfade, and then consolidate. Let's select this kick drum audio here and hit the batch command. It will automatically calculate the hit point, divide at the hit point, quantize to the current grid value, crossfade all of the events, and bounce the events in place. We've included batch commands to create, name, locate, and assign markers to other batch commands, allowing users to easily navigate around their session. On the advanced layout, we can hit the Create Session Markers Batch command located on Layout 1 for the project window. Once these markers are created, I can use the preset Fly to Markers Batch commands located on Advanced Layout 1 to copy the selected event to these preset markers. I have a drum loop that I want to sample with Groove Agent. On Layout 1, I'll hit Separate Fade, Add Groove Agent. This will automatically calculate and then divide the transients of the selection. Then it will instantly add a 5 millisecond fade and bounce in place each individual region it just sliced. Last, it will create a new Groove Agent track. Now I can just grab my newly faded and consolidated regions and grab them to a pad, and now I'm instantly set up for my custom drum pads. Next, we'll talk about a couple great batch commands specifically for Nuendo users. On the floating toolbar of Layout 1, let's create a 5.1 Reverb Aux track. I'll just select the tracks I want to add an effect send to, and when I hit the Create 5.1 Reverb Effects batch command, it will automatically create a new 5.1 effects track and add Steinberg's Reverence Reverb to the effects send. Now let's take these selected tracks and bust them to a 7.1 group channel, name it Sound Effect, and color code it. With the batch command system on Layout 1, we can hit 7.1 Sound Effects Bus Yellow and watch it work. If you receive a dialogue cue sheet for your session, there's a lot of tedious manual labor that goes into setting things up. On Layout 1 of the video panel, I can use the ADR to Dialogue markers to copy lines of script from the cue sheet to the clipboard. I'll use the Instant Dialogue Markers batch command. Then the batch command will prompt you with a window to paste the previously copied script into. Once you paste the script, hit Enter and watch it create markers with names of each line from the script. Customizing batch commands to add your favorite plugins or even your favorite plugin chains is very easy. Let's start by programming a batch command to load one of your favorite plugins to a selected track. In this example, I'll use the Slate Digital Virtual Mix Rack. However, you can replace this with any plugin of your choice. If you're a Raven user, let's press and hold the batch command to open the batch command system programming menu. If you're a batch commander user, you'll right-click or option-click the batch command to open the programming menu. Next, we'll hit Clear All to clear the contents before entering our custom script. Hit Key Command and Enter, Shift Control Option Command P. This will open the Channel Settings window. Next, hit Key Command and Enter, Tab. Hit Key Command and Enter, Shift Tab. Hit Key Command and Cursor Down. Hit Key Command and Option Return. 
Then we'll enter the name of the plugin we want to add. I'll hit key command and type the word virtual. Then key command and on the keyboard I'll hit spacebar. Then key command and I'll type the word mix. Then key command and on the keyboard I'll hit spacebar. Then key command and I'll type the word rack. And last, we'll hit key command and hit return. Now we'll give the batch command a name and color. You can choose from a color wheel by hitting more for additional color options. If you want to save this script for later use, I recommend using the Save button. This will save the script to your user area for future use. To locate this, hit Quick List and navigate to the user area. To lock in the batch command, let's hit Confirm and put it into action. I'll select this track here and hit Add VMR, and it automatically adds the Slate Digital Virtual Mix Rack to my track. Like creating your own batch commands using key commands, we have also included a ton of preset menu selection and mouse click options within our quick list that you can stack together to create some really powerful customizations. As an example, let's say we frequently use a reverb, delay, and phaser send chain when mixing. We can create a batch command that will automatically set the sense up from our selected track. To program, if you're on a Raven, let's press and hold the batch command. If you're using batch commander, you can right click or option click the batch command. If there already is content within the button, hit the Clear All button here to empty the content instantly. Now hit the purple Quick List button and in the search bar above, let's search for the reverb, Add Stereo Roomwork Send 1. We'll highlight it in the list and hit Select on the bottom of the Quick List menu here. Now we'll search. Close Plugin and Channel Settings window. Highlight it in the list and hit Select. Next we'll search for the phaser, Add Phaser Send 2, and select it. Then, again, we'll search for and select Close Plugin and Channel Settings window. Last, we'll search for the delay. In the search box, type Add Stereo Delay Send 3 and select it. Then, once more, we'll search and select Close Plugin and Channel Settings window. Now, we'll close the quick list and give the batch command a name and color here. I'll name it My Send Chain and choose a color. Now, I'll hit Confirm to lock in my custom send chain batch command. I'll just select this track here and hit my new batch command and watch as it instantly creates the custom send chain for me. We've shown you a lot of great preset batch commands across your layouts and have also shown you how to customize your own batch commands using key commands and quick list items. Another really powerful feature to the batch command system is the ability to record your own custom mouse clicks. On a Raven, push and hold a batch command to open the batch command system programming menu. If you're using batch commander, right click or option click the batch command button you want to program. Now we'll hit the record button and the batch command system will record your mouse clicks and key commands in the sequence you perform them. Once completed, hit the record button again and name your new batch command. This will save to your user recordings tab for later use as well. Now I'll just add my new recording into my batch command line, give the button a name, a color, and hit confirm. Now watch my new custom recorded batch command perform a key command and mouse click. We recommend reviewing our user manuals, which are accessible within the Raven settings, as well as visiting our Slate Media Technology Forum and joining the community of users, again accessible in your Raven settings. The forum is great for asking how-to questions, requesting or sharing custom batch commands, and more. Lastly, if you ever have any questions when using the application, never hesitate to contact our customer support department by visiting slatesupport.com and opening a ticket. Our customer support representatives are available to assist you Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time.